In this video I'll explain how to check whether two data frames are the same using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. So in this video I will show you several examples and all of these examples are based on the three data frames that we can create with lines 2 to 12 of the code. So in lines 2 to 4 I'm creating our first data frame. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame is appearing which is called data1. And if you click on this data frame you can see a new window in which the structure of our data frame is shown. And as you can see our data contains five rows and three columns which are called x1, x2 and x3. We can do the same for the second data frame by running lines 6 to 8. So if you run these lines of code, you can see that another data frame is appearing. And we can do the same thing once again using lines 10 to 12 to create a third data frame. So if you run these lines of code, a third data frame called data3 is appearing at the top right. So let's assume that we want to check which of these data frames are identical. Then we can apply the identical function that you can see in line 14 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm applying the identical function to our first data frame and to our second data frame. So if you run line 14 of the code, you can see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, the logical indicator true has been returned. And this is because our first and our second data frames are identical. So all values in our first and in our second data frames are the same. We can check the same for our first and our third data frame, as you can see in line 16 of the code. And in this case, you can see that the RStudio console returns the logical indicator false. And this is because the first and the third data frames are not the same. So in this first example, I have used the identical function to check whether two data frames are the same in the R programming language. However, it's also possible to use the all equal function to check whether two data frames are the same. And this is what I want to show you in the remaining part of the tutorial starting in line 18. So in line 18, I'm comparing the first and the second data frame using the all.equal function. So if you run this line of code, you can see that the logical indicator true is returned to the bottom in the RStudio console. So as we already knew, our first and second data frames are identical. We can do the same for the first and for the third data frame, as you can see in line 20 of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see that another output is returned at the bottom in the RStudio console. And this also shows the difference between the identical function and the all equal function, because the all equal function returns the position in our data frames that is not identical. So in this case, the all equal function returns the output component x3, five string mismatches. So as you can see, the all equal function tells us that the third column of our data frames is not identical. And we can check that once again by opening the structure of the first data frame. So in this case, you can see that the column X3 contains the letter X five times. And the data three data object contains the character Y five times. So in other words, this column is different in all data cells and for that reason, the all equal function returns that the column X3 has five string mismatches. So in this tutorial, I have explained how to use the identical and the all equal functions to check whether two data frames are the same in the R programming language. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the R programming code that I have used in this video in some more detail, and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.